Well, hello, and welcome to this English lesson about homophones. Homophones, if you weren't aware, are words that have different spellings, but they sound the same. If you look at the word homophone, it has the word phone at the end, which is probably, I, I'm just gonna guess here, it's probably related to a word in another language that means sound. So, a homophone then is um a set of words that are spelled differently but they sound the same. You'll probably be able to guess maybe what the first set will be once I get the lesson started but uh I hope you enjoy this lesson. It can be a little bit tricky sometimes. In English, sometimes we spell words the same and then say them differently. Sometimes we spell them differently and then we say them with the same pronunciation. So, this lesson will focus on that second set. Homophones again, words that are spelled differently but they sound the same but they also have different meanings. So, I will try to explain them uh, as best as I possibly can in this English lesson. So, hair and hair. Again, homophones are pronounced the same way but spelled differently. You can see that I have hair on my head. In fact, I think it's time for me to get a haircut uh, and I should probably trim my beard and mustache a bit too. I noticed that this morning. Um, but yes, this is hair. This little animal here is also a hare. Rabbits and hares are slightly different but they look the same. They're an animal that jumps and hops and has really big ears but you can tell that both words are pronounced the same. I have hair on my head. Sometimes when I'm out for a hike, I might see a hare. So, again, same pronunciation but of course, very different meanings. Plane and plane. So, if you go on a trip, you go on a plane. You get a ticket to go on a plane. Uh when you're on the plane, the pilot might say um prepare for takeoff. Is that what they say? Uh please fasten your seatbelt. I haven't been on a plane for a number of years. So, I don't actually know how it works. In fact, the last time I went on a plane, I think I still had a paper ticket. I think now everything's digital. This bagel, this uh it's kind of something made out of flour and water. This bagel is a plain bagel. So, again, um I'm trying to point here. Uh there we go. Uh different spellings, different meanings, same pronunciation. When I buy bagels, I like to buy what's called an everything bagel. I find a plain bagel to be a little bit boring. I also like cinnamon raisin bagels. Those are yummy but uh plain is a very popular choice in our house for sure. Sometimes your car breaks down and then you need a tow. You need to call a tow truck because you can't drive your car. Sometimes maybe you have a flat tire. Maybe the engine won't turn over and so you need a tow and so you would call a tow truck. On your feet though, you have on each foot toes. You have five toes on each foot um and your toes are what help you walk and keep your balance. I think I'm not sure how this works but the toes are what make the foot stable when it contacts the ground. I think when you walk with bare feet, you can kind of grip the ground with your toes a little bit. This is my action for toe. It's a little strange looking but yes, sometimes your car will break down and you need a toe. Sometimes you might hit your foot against the wall and stub your toe. That's what we say when you hurt your toe in that way. Bear and bear. So, I made sure I found a picture of someone who wasn't bare naked. This man is at least wearing something but his back is bare. You'll notice earlier I said that uh, when you have bare feet, you can use your toes to grip the carpet but on the other side of this slide, there is a bear. A bear is a type of animal. There are bears in Canada. When you go to northern Ontario or when you go out west, there are bears. There are black bears. Out west, there are grizzly bears. Bears are ferocious, dangerous animals. If you see a bear, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do. Don't go where there are bears. That's what you should do. Bears are dangerous. Um but sometimes in the summer, you might want to um enjoy the sun a little bit. So, you might have your arms bare in the summer. You might wear a short sleeve shirt or like I said before, you might uh, uh walk around in bare feet. And of course, the phrase we use when someone has no clothes on is we say they are naked Or we might say they're bare naked. We might add the word bare to that as well. There's a pizza over there. There's a whole pizza. 
Uh, no one has eaten a slice yet. There's a whole pizza on the far side there. It looks yummy. Although, I think it might have olives on it. I'm not sure. I do like olives but I like black olives a little better than green olives. But, there is a whole pizza over there. The person who ordered it said they wanted pepperoni on the whole pizza. Cheese on the whole pizza and I think it's either hot peppers or olives on the whole pizza. This person though closer to me has used a drill to drill a hole. The piece of wood has a hole in it now. Again, same pronunciation. You can eat a whole pizza. I don't recommend it. Uh you can use a drill to drill a hole if you need a hole in something. Beat and beat. Now, beat has a number of different meanings. You can use it to talk about beating a drum. You can also use it to talk about when someone beats someone else. Not a very nice thing to happen. But when you use the word beat with the A in it, you could say, oh, he's uh he's beating the drums. You can also say he's playing a beat on the drums. But closer to me here, you'll see a vegetable, a root vegetable that we call a beet. Uh beets are usually very, very dark, red, purple, kind of a mixture of the two. Um and when you uh cook beets, it has a very unique smell. So, you play a beet on a drum and you can eat beets if you if you like them. Not everyone likes beets. Sometimes, if you look at the far side, you'll see that there's a small insect called a flea. Sometimes, dogs and cats will have fleas on them. Fleas are not very nice. The fleas bite the dog or bite the cat. Uh but sometimes, you're in a situation where you need to run away. You need to flee. So, this is another verb we use to mean to run away. Usually, we use this to talk about a dangerous situation. The building was on fire. They needed to flee the building. Or there was a concern in the area that there was someone doing something bad. So, people needed to flee the area. So, it simply means that you need to run away. You need to flee. And usually, when there's an emergency of some kind. When you need to stop your car, you will use the brakes to brake. It's a verb and a noun. So, your car has brakes. B-R-A-K-E brakes. Your car has brakes. It has a brake pedal. When you want to brake, you push the brake pedal and then the brakes will slow your car down. Notice it's a verb and a noun. I think I mentioned that already. Um but sometimes people will break something. This person is trying to break the door and he's trying to break into the house. So, I use that as a verb as well. Um so, he's trying to break the door and when he has broken the door, he will be inside. Hopefully, he doesn't steal anything. Just a minute. Steal and steal. Those are homophones too. I think I have a slide for those coming up. We'll see if I remember. So, this was on the thumbnail. Pause and pause. When you're listening to music or when you're watching something on your computer or on your TV, if you need to get a drink or go to the washroom or bathroom as they say in America, you might hit the pause button. The pause button stops. You could actually do that with a live stream. You could pause right now and go get a drink and come back and hit play when you come back. But pause, these little footprints here, pause are what uh dogs and cats and other animals like that have. So, my dogs have four paws. When they walk in the mud, they leave paw prints but they definitely have paws. Walter likes to jump and put his paws on you. It's not very nice right now. If I'm leaving for work wearing clean clothes, sometimes Walter will try to put his paws on me and then once I did get muddy and I had to change my shirt. But the pause button will stop something that's playing like music or a video and dogs and cats and other animals like that have paws. Night and night. So, last night, it rained. Last night, I woke up and I heard the sound of rain outside. So, when it's nighttime, at night, it's very dark outside. Sometimes, you'll see the moon and stars at night. I'm trying to use the phrase at night a bit because I know people have trouble with prepositions. I did the same with on a plane and I'll try to do that as much as I can. But at night, um it's very peaceful outside but it can also be a little bit scary. Not everyone enjoys being outside at night. And then a knight is a person who in history who wore lots of armor 
and had a sword and a shield and they fought in different battles. So, at night, it's dark outside. If you watch really, if you watch movies about a long time ago, you might see a night. Scent and scent. Do you know what lavender is? If you look in the far on the far picture, you'll see what's called lavender. Lavender has an amazing scent. If you ever go to a lavender farm or walk through a lavender field, it just smells amazing. The scent of lavender is beautiful. It's a it's a nice nice smell. This on the close picture though is a penny or a couple of pennies. So, we would call this um one cent, two cents actually. But scent which refers to smell and scent which refers to one penny have the same pronunciation. Knot and knot. When you pull your boat up to the dock, you need to tie it up with a good knot. Hopefully, you at some point in your life learned to tie knots. You at the least should know how to tie a knot on your shoe um but learning how to tie a knot in a rope or string is just a good skill to have. Sometimes, you go somewhere and you're not allowed to do something. This red circle with the line through is kind of a symbol for things you're not allowed to do. It might have a cigarette in the middle. It might have a cell phone, a phone in the middle which means no smoking or you're not allowed to use your cell phone. Not and not. Heel and heel. If you hurt yourself, it looks like this person hurt their hand, maybe even broke a finger and now they have to wait for their finger to heal. They have to wait weeks. They can't bend their finger because it needs to heal. Um I don't know if you've ever broken a bone or hurt yourself but it's not a lot of fun when you're waiting to heal. Um sometimes it can be quite boring. What I recommend is that you watch lots of English lessons on YouTube. If you've broken a bone or if you've been sick and you're waiting to heal, do that. And then of course, the back part of your foot is called the heel. Um I actually hurt my heel a couple weeks ago, actually a couple months ago now because I jumped on and off the tractor a lot one day and I kept landing and then the next day, my heel was sore. So, I had to wait for my heel to heal. In the far picture, you'll see people under the ground digging out ore and minerals. We would say that that person is a miner. A miner is someone who works in a mine. A miner is someone who mines ore like or something like coal. There are a lot of different things that we dig out of the earth. A lot of things that we mine and the people who do it are called miners. In this close picture, you see some children playing hockey. And we would say that they are minors. In Ontario, Canada, if you are under the age of 18, you are a minor. It means that you are not an adult yet. There are things you're not allowed to do because you're a minor. And then we also use it to talk about things like these kids are playing in minor hockey. So, we have minor hockey leagues which mean they're leagues, hockey leagues for kids who are under the age of 18. When you bake bread, you use flour. Flour is made from wheat. We harvest wheat. We dry the wheat kernel. We grind the wheat up and then, well, we don't do that. Someone else does that. We just go to the store and buy a bag of flour. Then, we come home and we bake things like bread or cakes using the flour. Jen and I grow flowers. A flower is a nice beautiful plant with a a stem and petals and it just looks beautiful and sometimes it has a nice scent like lavender. So, you bake bread with flour. You make a bouquet with flowers as well. I should rephrase this. You don't use flour like when you bake with flour, there's no plural to flour. Well, I guess you could say there's different kinds of flowers at the store. But normally, you bake with flour, a cup of flour. You make a bouquet though with many, many different flowers. When I go to work, I wear a shoe. My shoe actually looks a lot like the shoe way over there. I have a pair of brown shoes. I have a pair of black shoes. It's nice to have good shoes. I'm on my feet all day. I need to be comfortable when I wear my shoes. I need to be um I need to be able to come home and not have sore feet. Sometimes though, a fly will buzz around while I'm doing my lesson or maybe uh, one of my dogs will come and try to interrupt me when I'm making a video and then I shoo them away. I'll even say that word. I'll be like, shoo, get out of here or shoo, get out of here if it was a fly. I wouldn't do this for a dog. 
wine and wine. Someone who whines a lot when you whine, when you look like this man over here with the kind of the grouchy look, it means you complain a lot. Oh, why do I have to work an extra hour? Why do I have to sometimes my kids whine if they don't like what we made for supper. They'll whine and say, I don't wanna eat this. This isn't very yummy. So, when you whine, it means you are complaining. We do, however, make something from grapes which is called wine. Grapes grow in a vineyard. They're harvested. They're pressed for their juice. The juice is fermented and eventually uh, we have what's called wine which is a, a beverage or drink with alcohol in it made from grapes. So, this is kind of a funny one. Uh, last night for supper, we had peas. We cook different vegetables all the time. Last night, we had peas. Peas are small green spheres, I guess. A sphere is like a well, a sphere is a try to explain what a sphere is. It's like it's a round 3D object. Never mind. A pea is a kind of vegetable. This person though is by the toilet and he is taking a pea. This is an informal way to talk about I guess the scientific word would be urination. Um but in English, we'll say I need to go to the bathroom. If you're talking to someone you know well like um a family member or a friend, you might use the informal phrase, oh, I just need to go pee or I need to take a pee. I'll see you in a minute. I just need to go pee. So, this guy is at the toilet. He's taking a pee. Remember, this is kind of informal. Normally, you would just say that you need to go to the bathroom. Oh, I just need to go to the bathroom before we leave. I love it when I go to a store and things are on sale. When a store has a sale, it means that things are cheaper than normal. Maybe they're 10 percent off or 20 percent off. You can see I'm getting excited already. Whenever something is on sale, I can buy more and use less money. A ship like this though, this boat has a sail on it. It uses a sail in order to catch the wind and to um have propulsion, I guess would be the word for it. So, when you go to a store, sometimes things are on sale. When you go in a sailboat, it has a sail. So, when you build something out of wood, you're gonna need boards. A board is a piece of wood that has been made square. So, they chop down the tree. They they cut the lumber into boards and you're you're going to need to buy a board. We saw a board earlier when we uh the picture of someone that drilled a hole through the board. This kid though is bored. He is not enjoying what's happening in his class or wherever he is. This kid is bored. When you're bored, you're not excited. You're not happy. You're not enjoying what's happening. Um but usually if I go and buy a lot of boards to build something, I'm not bored. Okay? Cuz I like building things. If you look way over there, these two guys are in a band. They've decided that they're going to play music together and so they formed a band and they are now playing in a band. One guy is playing the guitar. The other guy is playing the saxophone. A band is just a group of people who play different instruments to make music. It's fun to go to a concert and see a popular band um but sometimes something might be banned. When something is banned, it means it's not allowed anymore. At our school, certain kinds of video games are banned. You're not allowed to play games on your phone. It's banned. On the property of public buildings in Ontario, smoking is banned. You're not allowed to smoke. So, if you play uh, music in with a group of people, uh, you would probably call it a band and if you uh, go somewhere and you're not allowed to do something, it we would say that it is banned. Same pronunciation. Hey, the ocean has tides. The tide comes in. The tide goes out. The water is different levels. It's different heights at different times of the day. Um so, when you see the tide coming in, uh you probably wanna move back. Uh if you're sitting close to the edge of the of the ocean and you don't want to get wet, you would move back because the tide is coming in. But like the word not, when you have ropes, you sometimes uh, they need to be tied. Um so, here you can see that these ropes are tied to what looks like a sail. So, you make a knot in order to tie a rope to something and then you say it is tied. This is definitely tied up. One 
of my favorite things to eat is something called a sundae. Um when I have ice cream, I like to have it in a bowl sometimes with some nuts or pieces of chocolate and some chocolate sauce. We would call that a sundae. It's different than an ice cream cone where you have something that's kind of like a cookie I guess with ice cream on top. A sundae is in a bowl um and when you go to a restaurant, you can say, oh, I'll have a chocolate fudge sundae uh or I'll have a strawberry sundae. So, that would be ice cream with whatever you wanted on top of it. So, definitely it's ice cream with toppings which is pronounced the same way as the day of the week. In a couple days, it will be Sunday. Sunday is a really nice day. It's a day where at least in this part of the world, you don't need to work. So, Sunday is kind of fun. It's part of the weekend. Saturday and Sunday are the two days that I um use as my weekend. I work from Monday to Friday and I have Saturday and Sunday off. So, that's very, very nice. Bolder and bolder. So, when you type in a certain font, you can type it in the normal way or you can make it bolder, okay? So, you you might type something on a document and your boss might say, make the title bolder. It means to make it thicker. If I am afraid to do things, I might want to be bolder, B-O-L-D-E-R, the same as making a font bolder. But a bolder, B-O-U-L-D-E-R, bolder is a large rock this would be a boulder. A boulder would be like a rock that's almost the same height as I am. When you climb a mountain, you try to get to the peak. If you look at the far picture, there looks like there it looks like there is a restaurant at the peak of this mountain. Um so when you climb a mountain, your goal is to get to the peak. This girl though is taking a peak around the corner. She is peaking around the corner. The verb to peak means to like I used to did I used to do this? I used to start my lesson, right? With the piece of paper and then I would well, I would peek from behind the piece of paper. So, steel and steel. uh, uh, Last week, we did a lesson on building materials. I think that was last week and we talked about rebar. Rebar is made out of steel. In the far picture, you see some steel that's probably gonna be used with concrete in order to make a building. This guy though is trying to steal something, okay? S-T-E-A-L is the verb we use when someone is taking something that isn't theirs. Um the truck in the far picture is dumping waste. Waste is a general term we use for garbage or trash. Anything that we as humans don't need anymore and can't use, we say it is waste. Um we actually produce too much waste. Humans need to learn to recycle more stuff because we produce too much waste and it ends up getting dumped in the dump. Um but this guy has a belt around his waist. So, you put a belt around your waist in order to hold your pants up. It's good to wear a belt. If your pants are too loose, um wearing a belt will help you a lot. Um this mouse in the far picture has a tail. Um a lot of animals have tails. My dog has a tail. All of our cats have tails. My other dog has a tail. Humans do not have tails though. This little boy though is telling a tale. T-A-L-E, tale is another word for a story. It's really nice. Children really like it when their parents or grandparents read them a story or tell them a tale. So, we can use the word tale, T-A-L-E to talk about a story. I mentioned I liked it when things are on sale because I like it when things are cheap. In the far photo, you can say that see that things are 20, 30 or 50 percent off at that store. If you were to buy something there, it would be cheap. It's nice to buy things um when they are cheap. Now, cheap has another meaning. When something isn't made well, you can also say it's cheap. Ah, that the toy broke. Well, it was just a cheap toy anyways. But this bird is cheaping. A bird can cheap. When you hear a bird go cheap, cheap. Cheap, cheap. I'm using the word cheap to make a bird sound. But in the morning, sometimes we can hear the birds cheap outside of our window. You also use chirp, cheap, chirp or sing but sometimes you will hear a bird cheap. Mail and mail. This one was mentioned in the chat. Sometimes you get email which is a kind of communication. Sometimes you get a letter in the mail like an actual envelope with a letter inside of it and a stamp. 
we go and get our mail every day. M A I L from the mailbox. The mailbox is along the road. I am a mail. When you go um somewhere and when you fill out a form, it might ask if you are male or female. And so, you would check off whether you are male which I'm not going to describe any further um or if you are female but definitely male and male are pronounced the same way. If you are in a play, it's a little hard to see this in the far picture. If you are in a play, we say that you are playing a role. If I was in a play and I was Hamlet, I would someone might say, oh, what's your role? Oh, I'm playing the role of Hamlet. So, role refers to your function. Someone can even ask you this about work. They can say, what's your role at work? Oh, I'm the director of education. I'm not by the way but that would be my role. This here is a small what we call a bun or a roll. Sometimes when you have dinner, you'll have a roll with dinner. You can also use roll to talk about here. I can roll this along my hand. R O L L. Roll. I can roll that along my hand. Read and read. So, this child is (laughs) reading. I think it's a child. Hard to tell. The picture is very small for me. This person is reading. They have decided to read the dictionary. It's probably hard to read the dictionary but in the far picture, this person is reading. Things that grow along waterways. Um there's a certain kind of plant that grows along rivers and lakes and we call them reeds. A reed is kind of like a grass that likes to grow in a place where it's very, very wet. So, here you have a person who has decided to read and along this lake, you have um a reed, some reeds if I use the plural. This came up a little bit. Uh ate is the past participle of to eat. So, yesterday I ate three meals. Yesterday I ate too much. If I'm talking about eating in the past, I would use eight but it's also a number. Eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How fast can I say that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When I was a kid, we used to have races at school to see who could count to ten the fastest. If you listen, I do say every number but I don't pronounce it very well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One of the five is seventy nine ten. There you go. You'll that's not a good way to pronounce the numbers one through ten. By the way, buy and buy. So when you go to the store, you go there because you need to buy something. You need to give someone money because you need whatever they are selling. In the far picture, you can see the person is going to buy an apple. I think it's an apple. Yes, could be pomegranates. No nope, apples, and I think past the apples are tomatoes. Maybe. This person though in the closer picture is waving bye. When you say bye to someone, it means they are leaving and you just want to say bye to them. You want to kind of it's the opposite of hi, right? Hi is what you say when you see someone. Bye is what you say when they leave. Sell and sell. So, when you have something you don't want anymore, you might decide to sell it. That means if someone gives you money, they can have it. I had a computer once and I didn't want it anymore. So, I decided to sell the computer. So, someone gave me money and then they took it. So, that was really nice. However, on earth, almost every living thing is made up of cells. Almost. I think every living thing is made up of cells. Cells are very, very, very tiny, tiny parts of all living things. Our bodies are made up of cells. Also, if you commit a crime, they put you in a prison cell. So, that's another use of the word cell. Marry and marry. So, when you decide that you like someone, you might decide to marry. You might decide to get married. So, in the far picture, they have decided to marry. Around Christmas time though, we say Merry Christmas or if you talk about a bunch of people who are having fun and laughing, you might say they're very merry. Now, it's kind of an older word. We don't use the word merry in the happiness sense very much anymore but definitely merry and merry are pronounced the same. Meet and meet. When you start a new job, you're going to meet a lot of new people. 
In the far picture, you can see that the person is shaking hands. They're probably saying hi because as they start their job, they meet their colleagues. When you meet someone, it means that you see them for the first time. Maybe someone introduces them to you. Today, when I go to school, in the one class, there's going to be a guest speaker and it will be fun to meet that person. Also, if you are someone who likes chicken or pork or beef, it means you like to eat meat. Meat is a source of protein that comes from animals that people cook and eat. So, in the far picture, the person is uh, definitely going to meet this person or is meeting this person and here we have some meat. I think it's chicken. This person in the far picture ran a race and they won. They came in first place. They won the race. Hopefully, whatever sport you watch, hopefully your team uh, has a lot of wins this year. It's really cool when you can say, my team won a lot of games this past year. Um, and also, when you count, you start with the number one. Completely different spellings. One and one. Totally the same pronunciation. This is my right hand. So, I wear my Fitbit and my wedding ring on my left hand. This is my right hand. I use my right hand to write. This is my dominant hand. I am right handed. When I write W R I T E, I write with my right hand. Is that confusing? I write with my right hand. Should I put that in the chat? Maybe I'll do that for a second here. I write with my right hand. There we go. Hopefully, I did that right. Yes, I did. Um I write with my right hand. Um some people write with their left hand because they are left handed. When you go out on the sea, you need a really big boat. You might want to even go on a large ship if you go out on the sea. There's the Mediterranean Sea. There are many huge seas around the world um and it's definitely just a large body of water. But we also have the verb to see. Right now, I can see Jen outside. I can see Oscar. I can see a cat. I'm sorry, I don't have another camera but I can see Walter running. A lot of times, uh, Oscar walks our older dog and Walter runs around him. So, I can see them right now. Uh so, in the far picture, you can see the person doesn't have a lot of muscle. Their arm looks not very muscly. That would be the word I would say. So, I think this person might be kind of weak. Weak is the opposite of strong. So, in the far picture, I have a picture of someone who is weak. They are not strong. In this picture though, you see on the wall, this person has written down everything they have to do during the week. So, during the week, they have a bunch of things they need to do. So, they have written all of those things on the wall. So, if you're not strong, you're weak in the far picture. And if you think about the next seven days, um you can think about what you're going to do this week. What you're going to do the rest of the week. 